the way I became manager it really comes from the same theory. Uh, I had done some, I'm a lawyer, and I had done some legal work for Buddy and for the checkerboard. But not of an entertainment variety, just some straight ahead legal, real estate closing and this and that. Uh, helped out somebody he knew who got in some trouble. And, uh, so they were looking at me as a lawyer they could call on for different things. And one day I picked up the phone and I, I called Buddy and said, uh, the Stones are playing at the Horizon tonight and I think you're my ticket in. He says, do you have tickets? I said, no, we don't have any tickets. And he says, uh, all right, well, you think we can get in? I said, we'll get in. So uh, Buddy picked me up and I, and, I, and I said, when you come pick me up, bring a guitar, put a guitar in the car. And he did, and he picked me up and we drove out to the horizon and where they turn, all the traffic is diverted into this big, huge parking lot. And I said, don't go in the lot, go straight. So instead of turning the mandatory left into the lot, we proceeded straight. And of course, we didn't get 20 feet before two cops came running. Oh, where do you think you're going? And I said, uh, I have explicit instructions to deliver Mr. Guy to the pass gate. Which, of course, I was making it up as I went along. I mean, this was all fantasy. And he says, oh, go straight down the street. You're in the right road. Okay. So I, so I go down to the other end of the building and get there. And again, the police come, where are you driving? Where, where are you? What are you doing in here? And I, I said, the other policeman directed me here because I have instructions to deliver Mr. Guy to the pass gate. And the guy picks up a rope and has me parked next to the building by the door. I mean, I mean we, weren't, we weren't 20 feet from the door. Uh, the, the pass door, the, the not, not a regular entrance. And uh, so we walked up to, the, to that door and they s said, uh, um, are you on the, on the guest list? And I said, no, we're not on the guest list, but would somebody please inform Mr. Bill Wyman that Buddy Guy is here? And about three minutes later, Bill Wyman came outside and this was winter and it was cold out. He came out in a t-shirt and was so excited to see Buddy, he threw his arms around him and hugged him. And, uh, and he said, uh, good, come on in. I'm really thrilled you're here. Come on in, I'll get you in, I'll take you in. And he said, Who's, who are you with? And Buddy turned and, and, and pointed to me and he, and he said, this is Marty Salzman, this is my manager. And I was not the manager and we hadn't discussed that. Sure enough, we're, there we are, and I, Buddy introduces me to all of them. And uh, at some point, he and I are standing there a little bit away from all of them. And I said, since when am I the manager? He says, well, I was afraid they wouldn't let you in if you were just somebody, nobody. So I thought, I'd tell him you were the manager. And I said, you know, I like the sound of that. Uh, we should talk about that. And that subsequent conversation <laughs> made me the manager. I, I said, I want to be the manager. And that was where I got back to, you know, it'll take me a while to figure out how, how to do this well and all that, but we'll get it done. 